yeah, oh, here woods again. Yeah, can't keep away. Oh, look at that meteor. No helmet, marvellous. What am I on? Yeah, I'm on the shotgun at last. Yeah, uh, and I have got a theory about this, which I'll tell you about when I do the walk around. But let's get going before it rains, because it might rain. There we go, ignition on. Oh, I was pushing the key down too much. Marvellous. Um, rounded dials. Oh, and we're off. Let's have a look. Oh, it's got a gear indicator and everything. Right. Let's go. Into gear. We'll get going. Yeah. Oh. Just sounds like a interceptor engine. A little bit of a whine. Looks like it might rain while we're out, which will be lovely, won't it? Yeah, marvellous. Right. Um. Oh, I'll bring you back when the traffic's gone. Right, we're off at last. I won't tell you how long I was sat there. Oh, and there we go. Um, let me get the visor down and we can talk about what we've got apart from rain um so yeah oh, how does it feel it feels like a solid bike i can tell you that the seat is dead firm um we've got a round clock with loads of information in the middle uh, and an analog speedo we've got a trip marvelous we've got show of forks on it yeah mickey mouse mirrors um, which I can't quite see out of just yet let's get off this uh, road patch line which is interfering with the tyres um, just get that adjusted that's better and then we're off yeah so that's what we've got we've got the roundy dials um, we're into a 40 no trouble and we've got a gear indicator and we've got six gears yeah marvellous um, I like the foot position is very similar to the classic both the classic 500 and the classic 350 just wonderful and of course the bullet as well yeah suspension feels dead right uh, brakes because this weighs in at about 240 kilos yeah so it needs decent brakes and the brakes do work just fine handling seems good um, of course we're going steady Um, clutch seems light as a feather a bit of vibration there coming through the seat but the seat is firm and I would imagine with a slightly softer seat that would disappear get round here yeah, handling seems absolutely spot on. Um, I don't know if you're getting raindrops, but I will give you a wipe in a little bit. There we go. It's blowing an absolute hoolie. And I'm heading straight into it. Yeah. So the brakes and everything just seem absolutely spot on. Uh, the seating position um, yeah very much like Bertie which is strange isn't it the seat height I think is slightly lower 795 millimeters the seat height um, I guess everyone's gonna say well it's a super meteor in different clothes yeah which is true but Royal Enfield have a knack of being able to make 
the same bike feel very different um, have the, has it got the soul of the interceptor which you know it's certainly got the heart of the interceptor this road is bumpy as hell and I'm going to be very intrigued to see how the suspension deals with the Cambridgeshire road it is firm on the suspension though I will tell you that uh, it'll probably soften up over time a little bit I reckon uh, from the view here it does feel like the nose is a bit short but I think that's because I'm used to Bertie yeah I would have liked two round clocks I reckon on it or a console like the classics now this road is absolutely shocking and it will test the suspension definitely and the tyres so I will go steady with it it seems to be riding it all really rather well of course I am only going steady but a bike like this really I think is more about going steady than it is about going like a loon I know all the promotion is more about it being uh, maybe a bit of a hoodlum I don't know uh, me riding it I don't feel like a hoodlum on it and like I say I do have a theory about it yeah the engine is sweet we know this uh, what is it 46 47 brake horsepower um, I don't know is it 50 new meters of torque something like that 57 don't mean anything to me um, but uh, yeah I mean for real wor world riding it's just ideal isn't it and of course we do have speed limits and we have vans like this and we have terrible roads like these so is there any point you know on a sports bike you would never come down this road not in a million years but round here we've got the corn who's hiding in a field and I do need to rescue him at some point um, but I will stop and we'll do the walk round just here yeah let's have a little look get round here indicator off switch gear all intuitive everything is exactly where you expect it to be um, and we've got an information button there so our trip a trip b odometer that's all we've got on there and we've of course we've got the trip let's get off and have a look um, side stand just a little bit further back than what i'm used to but you'd soon get used to that wouldn't you um, get over here and there you go Royal Enfield 650 shotgun yeah marvellous oh and I can smell it from here anyway let's change the camera in blue um, not my most favourite of colour I like the grey one that they do personally but let's have a look at it um, obviously alloy wheels dead easy to keep clean and goes with the more modern look of it upside down show her forks um, and this sort of cowl it's almost very much a bullet type area isn't it you know if they just finished that off and put the clocks set them into it um, and when you stand back and look at it it's not far off a classic I think this is the modern Royal Enfield classic 
if they were to do a 650. Yes, they need to finish off the back bumper um, and bring it right down here, I think. And they could put a more uh, retro on the front. Um, what I'm not sure about is the shiny casing, the shiny engine casing and this. Um, it feels very smooth and very nice. I like the fact they've got Royal Enfield embossed on it like that, but I'm not sure about the shiny. That's what I'm not sure about. The exhaust's absolutely fine. Um, I could imagine them in chrome or brushed steel. It'd be lovely. The back seat, this lifts off, leaves the rack. Yeah, the key in, in there and it just sit, pops off. Um, and there you, you put your bag on the back. Wonderful, isn't it? Um, I could actually see myself with one of these. Yeah, I could. I never, and do you know when they were marketing it, I had no affection for it at all. My favourite uh, rear light, that sort of bulbous feel, I like that a lot. Uh, suspension is definitely on the firm side at the moment. Um, and maybe some different shocks on it, I don't know, it's a bit dark there, sorry for you. Um, all the switches, good, yeah. The brake levers have been updated and they've done that with the new interceptor, so if you buy a 2024 interceptor these have all been changed as well yeah I like it um, a good and I know it's meant to be sort of stylish but I think it's a good practical bike I do and I can see how easy they can make a 650 classic and I don't think it needs a lot and I think maybe this is already it yeah uh, that's my thought the cone can't quite see it, is in the background there. But let's get back on um, and uh, do the census test. Yeah, marvellous. Right, here I am, back on board. Yeah, ignition on, Brrr, ding, marvellous. Turn the roundy thing, wonderful. Um, and what I'll do is, I'm going to pop into Maddenly because I'm intrigued to see where the road is actually closed so dead easy to balance and turn even though it's a bit of a lard ass yeah at 240 kilos um, this road doesn't get any better at all um, yeah into the 30 Madden Lake the village that had it all and now they've just added to it with a diversion wonderful but we will go and have a little look in Maddenley and see where the road is actually closed see if we can get up to the university and maybe do a turn around so yeah um, dead comfy easy gearbox you know the one thing they got right this 650 engine is just wonderful um, and I think they've increased the servicing to 6,000 miles as well which is good but here we go thatched cottages we've missed the telephone box the three horseshoes pub wonderful um, up here we've got the church watch out for the speed bump and we've got uh, Cambridge University yeah marvellous or one college of and the road ahead is closed so we will just go back round here and there's the church uh, dead easy to manoeuvre this very well balanced gearing perfect for slow speed manoeuvring um, but let's get on to the senses yeah speed bump um, straight off what does it taste like well this one in blue has got to be 
um, one of those blue licorices I reckon I know I'm obsessed with licorice or is it a blue uh, M&M yeah or Skittles a blue Skittles yeah marvellous anything blue is generally very naughty isn't it um, and yet this I find quite chilled and relaxing quite practical I'll get my visor down because it is pretty damn nippy yeah then we'll get down here that lovely sound from the engine um, and there will already be exhausts for it yeah pipes make them a little bit more grunty but this is dead smooth on here oh it's wonderful um, what does it smell like? it smells wonderful I said that I had the stop denying yeah could smell it brand new bike smell there's nothing like it um, uh, to look at what does it look like well and that's it I reckon it's pretty close to what a 650 classic might look like already um, it does it doesn't look like the super meteor you can see it, its connection but I don't think it does uh, to touch and feel uh, it's quality it's the best built Royal Enfield there is I think yeah so far yeah obviously the classic and the bullet are up there as well but I think they've done a cracking sterling job I'm not sure how much they are but they're about seven thousand pounds I think and that car's going down there so we can go down here yeah there's quite it's quite vibey through the seat um, now that might die down a little bit um, and certainly if you put a comfort seat on it or something like that um, yeah so to touch and feel top notch uh, full marks shall we say handling like a dream clutch feels light and easy um, the bike's weight you don't particularly notice um, well at least I don't others might the brakes feel just perfect back brake feels very good there um, sound yeah it sounds lovely that 650 engine it's got a bit of a burble to it a bit of a whistle um, yeah very nice and then there's the sixth sense how does it make me feel has it caught that Royal Enfield magic I need to ride it longer and I need to ride it on a warm day um, downside is there any downsides to it not really um, just preference and uh, for me it feels like it's just been stumped stumped off they haven't got the headlamp and the console right I don't think for me anyway you might think it's absolutely fine um, but other than that I really uh, like it and I've enjoyed riding it um, yeah that's where I am with it at the uh, present I need to ride it again and go for further I think but I do I like it a hundred percent more than I did um, when I first saw them yeah that's what I'd say but I've got to take it back now um, back to Haywards marvellous shop um, and we'll have one last look at it can we get round this bus I reckon we can listen to that engine marvellous sound I do like it yeah uh, what I really like about Royal Enfields is everything's exactly where you expect it to be nothing's a surprise and everything works just as it ought yeah let's get in here and see if I can get a cup of tea as well 
here we go, get round here. And let's just have a little look at it. Now remember, the side stands further back than I thought it was. Ignition off. Let's have a little look. There you go. Royal Enfield 650 shotgun. Just wonderful.